From watching the first episode of JoJo Part 6, I've learned 1. If you have kids, especially daughters, teach them to not be a simp. And 2. Ladies, don't trust anybody with a bizarre haircut like this or any lawyer that has big ass ears like this. So the main character Jolene Cujo made some pretty ridiculous choices with her boyfriend Romeo as they were driving on a rainy day in Florida but not staring at the road and looking at each other for who knows how long to be honest. And unfortunately they end up killing a guy in the street. <laughs> When everything went down, her boyfriend Romeo was panicking and instead of trouble, he used a player tactic by telling Jolene that they'd never be together if they told anyone about what occurred. So she decided to be his accomplice by helping him get rid of the dead corpse that they had previously hit. So based on episode 1, you might be wondering, how many years would Jolene get for her crimes in real life? Let's find out by going over the scenario depicted in the anime first. In court, Jolene pleads guilty to the judge while her boyfriend didn't admit to any of the crimes at all. As Romeo and the crooked lawyer were in cahoots with each other, blaming the entire incident on Jolene. So the judge sentenced her to 15 years in prison with a plea deal that the lawyer set up from the very beginning. In real life, leaving the scene and committing a hit and run on accident, you'll spend 1 to 15 years in jail depending if it's a misdemeanor or felony charge. But in numerous states, hiding a body has a penalty of 12 years maximum and being an accomplice will have you do a jail sentence of 1 year in jail. Unfortunately, Jolene took a plea deal that was not in her favor as she still would have to do 15 years. And from researching similar cases, people received about 10 or more years if they take a plea deal as well. Also in the first episode, the crooked lawyer lied to Jolene about the case because he was being secretly paid to keep the driver Romeo out of trouble. So is it illegal for an attorney or a lawyer to take a bribe from one of the defendants? Honestly, it's not in their best interest to lie as lawyers who trick their client can lose their license, end up bankrupt, can even do jail time for lying as they are supposed to uphold the truth and help their client. They even take something called a state bar exam that is really really hard to take which stops most lawyers from wanting to screw over their clients. But as we know in real life, you can get most people to do anything if the money is good. Are you guys enjoying Jojo Part 6 so far? I still have to watch the rest of the show, but personally, I'm really enjoying it to be honest. And you guys remember to like, share, and subscribe, and watch this video if you want to see more. Peace.